Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince. Guess what? This is the big 100. That's right, this is my 100 Let's Play, and to celebrate, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite RPGs of all time, Skies of Arcadia. Legends, as this is the GameCube release. Skies of Arcadia was originally released on the Dreamcast, so what's the difference? Well, first of all, the GameCube game is only one disc long, while the Dreamcast had to take up two discs. Now, the Dreamcast did have a couple of VMU mini-games that I won't be able to access here, because the GameCube doesn't have anything like the VMU, but everything else is a plus. The Dreamcast release had DLC associated with it, and the GameCube release has all of that in one package. And there's some GameCube-exclusive content in this thing, so this is the only way to see that. And some of it is some seriously difficult to attain endgame secrets. And yes, we're going to be taking a look at that stuff. And I promise you, it's worth it. Now, what is the game, anyway? Well, you play as Vice. Yeah, Vice. This is the guy my friend Vice the Bold is named after. Now, who is the game character? Well, he's a sky pirate. And he's the kind of guy who robs from the rich and gives to himself... But he also helps out people in need if the situation calls for it. He's the kind of roguish hero character. They enjoy robbing really overly rich targets or military targets, things like that, and trying to help out uh, the common folk, whether they're actually in need or whether there's just an imbalance of power or something to that extent. So Vice is a pirate, but he's not a bad guy, if that makes sense. However, this game has a share of bad guys. You see, Vice and Aika are sort of a dynamic duo, and they run around doing Sky Pirate stuff. But, one day, a mysterious woman named Fina shows up, and she has a mission, and she's not telling what it is. At least not yet. Now, her mission takes Vice and Aika all around the world, trying to stop some cataclysmic event from occurring. We'll see more of that as we get into the game, but in the meantime, it seems that there are people who are out to stop them. The main antagonists of this game, I would say, would be from the country? Island? Everything Sky Islands of Valua. Valua is ruled by Empress Theodora, and she commands a great armada run by seven admirals, and these people are no joke. So, Vice is going to find that he's going from a boy who wishes he could see the world to a proper pirate who has to deal with some of the toughest people around. One of the reasons I love this game so much is that you get to see this character go from a low-level pirate who mainly trolls around his homeland picking up a couple of coins here, a couple of pieces of armor there, to a genuine legend who is world-renowned and builds up a base of his own from nothing. I love stories where you build up something from nothing, and this game has one of those, and you really get to see the process. Vice travels the world and makes friends along the way, and gets to see all sorts of interesting places he never otherwise would have. And the game's world building is fantastic. There are lots of different places in this game that even reflect places or cultures that exist or used to exist in the real world. So it'll be interesting to take a look at some parallels and see how you might find those connections. Also, this game does something that not a lot of Japanese games do, it throws in a bit of a Spanish twist. I mentioned that one of the main antagonists consists of the Armada. The Armada is the Spanish Navy, but you'll hear a lot of Spanish names as well. I'm aware that Vice is kind of a, you know, a JRPG hero name, but you'll have actual Spanish names like Pedro, Ramirez, Gregorio, Gonzalez, names of that sort. A lot of the characters' names in this game really are grounded in reality, and it's kind of refreshing to see something like that and all sorts of interactions with new people Vice meets, and building up his crew when he becomes a pirate of his own, being able to slowly explore more and more of the map as his ship gets better and better, it is a wonderful thing to see. So you know what? Enough setup. Let's get right into one of my favorite RPGs, and you'll see just why I love it so much. Let's go crazy.
Here we go. Overworks. The age of exploration has dawned upon the world of Arcadia. Brave adventurers set sail across the vast skies in search of treasures untold, and where there is treasure, there will be air pirates. That is one sweet opening. I can't even tell you the last time I saw that. Oh boy. Here it comes. I gotta say, I missed this. I really did. I think the last time I played this, I was in college, so... I am very, very much looking forward to this. Also, I never realized that it actually goes to uh, to Sunset and things of that sort. That's actually a clever little uh, thing. Here goes. Please select whether or not you wish to enable the... <laughs> oh man. Let's enable it. The rumble feature has been enabled. The rumble feature has been... No. The rumble feature may be toggled on or off at any time from the options menu within the game. And I thought Killer7 pushed the moon hard. Is this Star Wars A New Hope? Yeah, I love this guy. Ha ha ha! We finally found her! Admiral Alfonso, her ship's in range of our cannons. Excellent! Prepare to fire concussion shells on my command, but avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Fire!
Your Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. Ha ha ha. The Empress will be very pleased with me. I'm sure to be rewarded. Rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where did that come from? It sounded like an explosion. Status report, now! The lower hull has been hit. Someone is attacking us. Attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? There's a small ship hiding in the clouds off the port side. Th that flag? Air pirates? Air pirate scum, don't you know that we're Valuan Imperial soldiers? Of course I know. That's why we attacked your ship. You guys are the best stuff. Hey. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues, and in a few minutes, I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. <laughs> Attacking us all by yourself? You're either incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. We'll be tossing you overboard. Uh, just quick aside, remember we're Sky Pirates. Overboard is just instant death. You know, in the ocean, it's probable death, but we're falling like a million miles here. Like, that is absolutely death. Wait for me! Vice, you left without me! I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, hi, I'm Aika. I'm a blue rogue like Vice, and we're robbing you. You dare mock the Valuan Empire with your insolence? Kill them, and toss their corpses over the side. Welcome to our very first battle, huh? Oh my god, so good. Oh, by the way, here's a really silly, fun fact about Vice. This just cracks me up. Uh, probably the first thing you're gonna notice about him, other than his strange stance. Oh yeah, I could do this. <laughs> I can look around. Is his uh, eye patch. And yet, it's see-through? You can totally see that it's an eye patch goggle. Not only that, but believe it or not, there's a push-button code in this game. Right, right, left, left, down, up, down, up, right, left. Oops, let's try it again. Ah, I blew it. There it is. You can take it off with a push-button code. It's so goofy, but that's so vice. Anyway, here's what we got. We got special moves, which I cannot yet do. You see the upper left of the screen that says 2 out of 8. As turns go by, I'll raise my SP, and when I have enough, I can pull off special moves. Magic, straight up magic, but I do not appear to have any spells. I can't even select it. See? Uh, focus. Focus allows me to build up more SP at the cost of actually being able to attack. I just charge up instead. Attack is what you think. Guard, item, and run. So, one other thing I'm needing to point out is you'll notice my sword is strangely red. If I press X and Y, I guess just Y, so I can go between red and green, and there are more colors where that comes from. But this game has a uh, not exactly a rock, paper, scissors layout, but there are six colors, and certain ones have advantages over others. And I believe the more I deal with a particular color setting, the more affinity I will have for that color, and I can learn its spells. So red is going to fire, green is, I want to say, healing? Anyway, let's actually go ahead. So attack. Who am I going to attack? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yep, I select everything before the turn actually starts. Might as well double down on that soldier I was already going after. Yep, Ayaka uses a boomerang. And Vice fails at using a cutlass. Now, of course, the downside of not guarding is, you know, I just got hit for 47 damage. 
That's not a special move, that's just the game not making me wait for the enemy to run at me. You'll notice it did about the same damage as the melee attack. It was still a melee attack, just from a distance. Also... Oh, it costs seven. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off on Cutlass Fury. And yeah, same with Aika, everyone has colored weapons. Wow, this is not going well. <laughs> Well, not the best tutorial battle. Well, if it says critical hit, that means you definitely hit them, so that's nice. And now for the hell of it. I'll do Cutlass Fury with Vice, and uh, Aika can do hers at some other time. Great. Wonderful. First battle of the game. Devastating. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I mean, that actually was pretty bad, but whatever. So, yeah, XP 3 but look at how little it takes to level up at the beginning of the game. There it is. We have affinity for the colors. And as you can see, there are other colors. More on that later. Sacri, I'll look into that, but I want to say it's a healing spell. Which, by the way, I can use outside of battle. There's no point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbeciles, what do the two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take them out. I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad! <laughs> yup! Family of pirates. We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out here, remember, it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, Captain. <laughs> Aika, shall we go introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? I'm ready when you are. All right, let's go find the bridge. Let's go. And now we're playing for real. And the game just gives this to us. This is a treasure chest. Sacred crystal. So if I can't cast the spell myself, that is the equivalent of a sacred spell. Start manipulates the map, so what's options? Y? No, but that's awesome. First person view. X then? Yeah. Yeah, 500 HP. That's the most basic... <laughs> that's the most basic spell in the game. 500 HP. Believe me, we're going to be getting a lot more HP as this game goes on. Sacri is actually pretty damn weak, but... Hey, looks cool, right? Now, I will diversify the colors I use for my various characters, but right now I want everyone to go green because right now only Aika is capable of healing. Oh, one more thing. 10 gold, party spirit 8. I forgot the significance of party spirit, unless that has to do with my swashbuckler rating or something. More on that later. And you could scroll through, like, percentages and equipment. Super move. Um, yeah, super move for... Oh, good. It doesn't allow me to scroll down. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't. There we go. LNR. Cutlass Fury. So I guess Aiga doesn't even have a super move yet. Unleashes his fury in a single enemy, causing major damage. Moonberries. More on that later. Uh, yeah. Vice the Unimpressive. Uh, he, Vice is the only one in the game who has a rating because he's kind of the main guy here. But we just started the game, so we're not impressive. Equipment, you already saw Cutlass receive these swords as a gift from his father, Dine. It is light with a short blade. Uniform, given to him by his dad. Sky Seer goggles, improves hit percentage. The slight hit bon bonus in the lower left there. Zoom in on distant targets. As for Aika, flash ribbon and improves her quick, very important. Um, so she probably attacks first. Favorite pair of shorts given to her by Vice's mother. 
and boomerang. Large but light and relatively easy to aim. Okay, now that we've done that, we can actually go ahead and play the game. By the way, here's something I didn't even realize. But, uh, oh, I can use the D-pad to move. If I look at the chest again, it used to contain sacred crystal. Like, it actually tells you what it had, which is kind of nice. Anyway. I kind of like that. There's no room loading. Just, we're, we're in. Also, I like the way the map fills out as I explore. Very, uh, very nice. Well, well. Air pirates have decided to infest my ship. I am Alfonso, cherished son of Valua's most distinguished family and an admiral of the Imperial Armada. Normally, lowlifes such as yourselves would never have the opportunity to bask in such greatness. Consider yourselves fortunate. Yeah, right. Who's the girl? I never thought someone of your stature would stoop to kidnapping. Ha! Huh, you're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have you exterminated like the pests you are. Dispose of them. God, do I love that. Here we go. So right now I'm going to double down on green, even for Aika, but once Vice learns Sacri, I'll move on with my life. And by the way, you'll notice the SP is back up to 2 and not at 1. SP resets every battle, so you can spend it as much as you like. You just have to manage it within a single battle. Wow, okay. You guys are even weaker. Boom. I want to see Vice's critical hit. Eh, at least these pansies didn't dodge, right? We did it. Hooray. I think we're both leveling up. Yeah, look at that. 87 HP from one level up. Sacri's going to get irrelevant real quick. <laughs> Also, yeah, you see that countdown? That's how long it takes to level up a particular element. You'll notice um, red is a lot lower than, say, silver or blue. We only have red and green to deal with, though, so I'll be wanting to switch over relatively soon. Yeah, and that was it. We don't even get a word from Alfonso. What a freaking scrub. Anyway... Okay, here we go. I want to be careful that there are lots of missable items in this game, and as you can imagine, we're not going to be spending our whole game on Alfonso's ship, so these chests will disappear if I miss them. Sacred Crystal times two, hey! Also, can I... Nah, I don't think there's a snap to the front button, but whatever, I, I can at least manipulate the camera. Also, I gotta say, I'm surprised I haven't gotten into any random encounters yet, because they are plentiful. There we go. How do I get that? I, I really... There it is. I really don't want to interfere with Alfonso. Also, you'll notice different battle screen transitions. I'm grateful for that, because this game has a million battle screens. Also, I should use Sacri soon. I guess I'll get on that after this fight. Actually, wait. What the hell? Yeah, see, still melee, but not really. Moons, give me strength. Yeah, also, um, SP. Oh yeah, 
yeah, sometimes there are counterattacks. I forgot about that. It can be a real lifesaver. So even when enemies attack, it could potentially be a good thing. Look at that. Now there's one fewer enemy and I didn't even do anything. Uh, okay. More attack. Now, of course, higher levels of healing magic will cost more to use, but as of right now, you know, I'll stick with what we have. Oh yeah. Oh wow. I love that sound, by the way. <laughs> I think that was a waste of a crystal, too. I think it just used it on some random guy. I don't think they know what to do. Yeah, that was a total waste. So basically, they spent their turn not attacking me. Hey. Alright. No counter for me, I suppose. Boom. Nailed it. That was easy. That's right, I have to go around Alfonso. Oh, the good news is the game is making me take this path, so... Oh, I was afraid of that. What?! How did you defeat my soldiers?! Heh. <laughs> if you want my ship that badly, you can have it. I'll get another. I am very busy. I do not have time to deal with you personally. Now, if you'll excuse me... Just walks out. What a great way to introduce the character. Like, what an asshole. You're standing right in front of him, but he's too good to fight you. Uh, 50 gold. I'll take it. There we go, now Vice has learned Sacred. I can move over to a little bit of red, I suppose. Oh, by the way, I should point out that if I flip this lever, then the alarm will stop, and I will no longer receive random encounters. On one hand, that's convenient, but on the other hand, I kind of want to level a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Ah, and welcome to our first save point. Boom. Look at how fast that saved, by the way. That's kind of nice. Also, two magic droplets. I'm going to have to look up what those do, actually. Oh, restores one MP. Okay. Well, maybe there's SP and MP then? Oh, it looks like there are. Yeah, oh, never mind. We do have MP. I lied. So I guess still has two of four. So I actually do need to manage my magic, and it also uses SP. That's kind of a shame, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not the biggest deal. Anyway, let's continue. Ha! You'll never get through this door. I've locked it from this side. So long, rogue. Ha ha ha! I mean, I got this door. Actually, now you know what? I'm gonna give myself one more level. That's probably like two fights.
And there we go, we learned Pyrie, and now we're level 3.